Hi guys, so today I wanted to share with you a little bit of a collaging um, junk journal process. I really do enjoy to work on my art journal. It's very relaxing just to sit there and don't think about anything and just simply create something pretty. So we are going to be using some book pages, a rice paper sheet and some of these Tim Holtz tools. Also, we're going to need gesso, mud patch, and a brush. So, I am going to start by just adding gesso on all over my page here. And gesso always gives it a nice uh, primer to make your page uh, more workable. And then also, it, it really works as a good medium. So, um you know for the paints and the inks and anything that you want to add into your um, art journal so i'm just here collaging some of these uh, book pages now these pages come from a book that i got at the dollar store that i altered and i took a few pages out of the book so i saved those and they're perfect to use for backgrounds so you can also use the gesso as a little bit of like an adhesive, like a glue. So I like to just put the papers and then you put another layer of gesso on top to secure, you know, the book pages into our art page. So then I'm just going to use my rice paper sheet now this rice paper sheet i got at crafty city all i do is just break it in sections and pieces and i do want everything to look very uneven so i'm just getting rid of that straight edge and i'm gonna just going to add it using my gesso um, if you don't have rice paper you can also use some napkins to do this step as well and it works just just as good um, so I'm just adding different pieces and flowers to add a pretty background and I really like how these rice paper looks on top of the book pages because you can kind of still see the print on you know on the back there So I really wanted to keep this large flower design um, and not break it too much because I really love how that looks. So I'm just putting that whole piece in the corner. Again, I'm just getting rid of that um, straight edge and just adding it with some more gesso. Then finally, I put another layer of gesso all over the pages. And then I did let that dry for a little bit. And I'm just using this little broken piece of a stencil that I absolutely love. But as you can tell, <laughs> I've been using it way too many times. But it still kind of works really good. So I just add a little bit of that um, design on some of the empty areas on just different places so then I'm using my mat patch to add my little Tim Holtz paper dolls and I really like um, these two girls they're so cute and I just really like the contrast of the beautiful spring colors and the black and white vintage image so then I'm adding a layer of Mod Patch all over um, the page. I really like the texture and the finish with the Mod Patch. It, it just gets it, gives it a different feel to it and it kind of just protects everything. 
and finally i'm just adding this sticker from my stash for just a little sentiment and i really like how simple and easy this page came together and it was super relaxing to do so hopefully you guys were inspired by this video and you gave it a try and thank you for watching bye bye